All right, guys, we've been talking a lot about methanol the last few days, and just on some of the comments, there seems to be a bit of confusion about why it's there, how we get rid of it. So I thought we'd go into that a bit, and it might help clear it up for some of you guys. So methanol, just like the ethanol that we actually want, is produced during fermentation. Now, the amount of methanol that will be in that finished ferment can be limited by having good fermentation practice, but it's still always going to be there. And how much of it is there really depends on the product you are making. Fermented fruit, for example, will have a higher methanol content than fermented grains. Now, a big thing people were struggling to grasp in the comments section was the fact that if that methanol is present in the fermented product, so a beer or a wine, for example, why would it be any worse in the distilled version of that product? Now, as I explained in that last video, distillation creates nothing. It takes what you already have and highly concentrates it. So by taking, say, 20 litres of wine, for example, and distilling that down into one or two litres, you are essentially drinking the entire alcohol content of that 20 litres in that one litre of distilled spirit. So the still hasn't made any more alcohol. It's just got rid of the stuff that wasn't. I just want to jump in right here and send a massive shout out to the Whiskey Squad over on Patreon. The support and the community that we've built over there is nothing short of amazing. And if you would like to consider joining us on Patreon, you'll find a link to check it out right below this video. Back to it. So we know it's there, we know it's bad. How do we get rid of it? Well, one of the things we know is that methanol will convert to a vapour at a lower temperature than ethanol. So when your alcohol is in the still and that temperature is coming up, the first thing that will convert to vapour is methanol. That will make its way across to the line arm, recondense into alcohol first. No, 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 you said the wrong thing. It doesn't condense into an alcohol. Well, what comes out is alcohol, but it condenses from vapour back to liquid. I know people are going to pull you up, so get it right. Back to it. Now, as that temperature continues to climb, we're going to move into our first cut point. Cut points are the steps in the distillation run where the distiller will decide we've moved from the heads, which is bad stuff, into the hearts, which is the stuff we want to keep, and then into the tails, which has just got some nasty, funky flavours in there that we don't want for our barrels. Now, as small-scale producers, one of the advantages we have is that we can go very late with that first cut. We can ensure we are definitely 100% into the hearts and we have not wasted a lot of product. Now, if we take this process and scale it up to stills that are the size of buildings, going late on that first cut relates to a lot of product wasted. So from a viability and economic standpoint at a massive, massive distillery, they have to make sure they are right on the money with that first cut point, not too early, not too late. But us as the small guys, we are going to collect the first bit in a jug. Just through experience and doing this for many, many years, I know that on a run in our still, producing what we are producing, I'm going to collect about five litres and that is not going to make it into our hearts cut. Now, the other big question a lot of you had was how do you test for the methanol? Now, that we do with one of these. We fill this up with a sample of our distillate. We mark on the form what we want to test for and we send these off to a laboratory. They will use a machine called a gas chromatograph, big words, to test for that methanol content and make sure we are not only below the acceptable limit for Australia, we want to be well, well, well below it. Now, obviously, a little distillery like ours, laboratory equipment and the price that comes with it is something that's out of the question. But this is easy enough. You send this off, they come back with the results normally in about two days. And considering that product's going to sit in these barrels for three plus years, couple of days doesn't really make a difference. So I hope that helps out, guys. If you got something from this, just hit that like button. It helps the videos out heaps, and I would massively appreciate it. You guys take it easy. Stay safe, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.